All right, everybody, I'm here with Joe Solomon. Uh, you guys have met him before, as this is not his first big trip. Uh, you've got a big trip coming up very soon, and we're here at the Little Miami River, uh, a river that Joe knows quite well, a river that he's paddled in entirety about seven or eight times, you'd say? Yes. Sir. About right? Yes. So a pretty good practice run for what you're about to do. Why don't you tell everybody the journey that you're about to go on? Well, starting May, well, it was May 1st until I found out the weather was bad um, this Sunday. So starting Monday, May the 2nd, I will be traveling from uh, downtown Cincinnati all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. It's a big trip. So you've joined us before because you've paddled the Ohio in full. You've paddled almost the full length of the Mississippi. And now we're mashing these things together, basically, right? From yeah. one extreme combo. Yeah. So I had about 450 miles left of the Mississippi from last year. Uh, Hurricane Ida came through and totally destroyed my path. Um, and I didn't really want to paddle into a disaster zone. And I also didn't want somebody to have to drive me all the way back to Vicksburg, Mississippi, which is pretty far from Cincinnati. And, and then turn around two weeks later when I was done with my 450 miles to come back and pick me up. So I decided to make a journey out of it. And my journey is going to be from Cincinnati to sea. Uh, so it's a mashup of the lower Ohio and the uh, lower Mississippi that I'm doing. And about how many miles is that going to be? Somewhere around 1,600 miles total. So you decided since you had 450 miles left to go, that the best way to do it was just to paddle 1600 <laughs> to, yeah, just, to just, just start throw, over. Just throw it in a backyard and go. Yeah, I love it, I love it. So what's new with this trip versus other trips that you've gone on? Well, what's new? I got a brand new kayak from you. Yeah, yeah, uh, that, which, that's gonna feel good. Yeah, I, I've sat in it a couple times. The seat's very comfortable. Uh, there's plenty of room for all of my gear. Uh, I don't think it's going to be sitting as low in the water as my kayak did you in got the Mississippi. The, the Wilderness System Tsunami 14.5. 14, yes. So yes. you get some good length to it, plenty of storage to it for some, yeah. some pretty long overnighters. Yeah, and I, I feel like I'm going to pack at least seven days worth of food uh, and maybe three or four days worth of water. Mm -hmm. I, I have a water filtration system, but I prefer to just get fresh water from folks. Uh, which I have people that help me to find fresh water or a place to sleep or anything that I really need. I've got friends on the outside that help me out as I'm going. And since you've been on both of these rivers before, you know, we've, when we've talked in the past, we've talked about uh, just what luck and, and humanity and everything with the river angels out there. Um, so have you reached back out to some of these angels or do you yeah. look forward to meeting back up with some of these people you've already met? Yeah, I actually have some of the folks that are south of Cincinnati already know that I'm coming through. Uh, so I have a couple of places where I can stay along the way. I think even day one, I've got a bed to sleep in and some really good food to eat. And my friends from uh, the Main Street Diner down there in Rising Sun are ready for me to come through and awesome. help me out. So. Awesome. And I met them through the Ohio River Recreation Trail, which is now called something different, but uh, those folks went on a voyage from Cincinnati to Louisville in giant uh, Voyager canoes. And so when I made that connection, it opened Pandora's box. I, I made a lot of connections through the folks that are doing that particular project. And uh, I'm also, they, they do that to raise money for Adventure Crew, which takes inner city youth out into nature uh, to feel the healing properties that nature does have. So I'm gonna go uh, and raise money for them again, like I did last year, because it's really important to me. And uh, they have mental health staff that can find if a kid has a problem, they can intervene and, and work with them on that. So. Yeah, and that's awesome. Let's let's talk about that for a second because that's sure. that's something you did on the Mississippi. You joined up with Adventure Crew, one of our favorite partners and one of the just best organizations here in Cincinnati. It's so so important. And but you've also always done this, starting with the Ohio, uh, to raise mental health awareness. And so you just you can't stop at just one mission. You're just kind of like a, a give back kind of guy. And, yeah. and and so it's so cool talking to us, I guess, about that mission and, and that, those connections. Yeah, so I always do it as a mental health awareness battle because I want to get people engaged in talking about mental health. 
and uh, by doing that I've reached a lot of people in the past and uh, I may not be as media savvy with this trip as I have in the past but I've got friends that are sending off a uh, a press release to some of the news agencies along the way so I can get a little bit of coverage along the way as well uh, but I think uh, I think this this particular trip is probably going to be the easiest one I've done yet because there's a current in the river which in the past you know mm -hmm. I paddled from the headwaters of the Mississippi all the way to St. Louis without a current at all uh, the Ohio River's up right now and it's moving and so is the Mississippi Parts of where I am in the Mississippi uh, on the southern end are kind of out of their banks right now. So, mm -hmm. hey, big fast water sounds yeah. good to me. Yeah, you have to feel good knowing that, you know, you, you've kind of done this before, you've been there. So, so much of the, um, just the unanswered questions have now been answered, right? Since you've yeah. been down this path a little bit, going through it uh, for the second time for sections of the Ohio or second time for sections of the Mississippi. Mm -hmm. You feel... Uh, I guess more confident moving into this uh... Yeah, my nerves have been a little racked lately, but not half as bad as it has been in the past. I um, All my gear is basically ready to go. I just got to do some Some moving things around and packing up a little more today and I'll pack the kayak I'll dry pack the kayak today to make sure everything fits uh, I haven't had a chance to get it out on the water, so day one's gonna be the first time I've ever paddled this new kayak. Yeah. Uh, so I might be giving you a call that day. <laughs> <laughs> which, which way do I sit? Which direction? Yeah, how, how do I fix this or fix that? <laughs> yeah, you'll be, you'll uh, it's, be good. But the kayak itself, it's really, it's, uh, it's self-explanatory when it comes to using it. It's, uh, it's built a little better than the last kayak that I used not knocking that kayak or the maker of it but this particular wilderness systems kayak that i just got i feel very confident that it's going to be able to make the trip pretty easy yeah and especially so. when it comes to like this, this overnight packing and everything once you've gone down that road and understanding what you will and will not use you don't want to carry anything you don't need you don't want to forget something and you've been down that road and so just even the the, the camping aspect of this and yeah. how many times you, you come up on shore you, we were talking about the other day like do you think you'd remember some of the better places you camped or some of the places you would not camp again and you brought up a good example actually yeah um, yeah where like oh yeah I'm definitely gonna remember as I'm going down the Ohio that that bank I'm steering clear yeah. on, for example just past the second to last lock there's a nice little gravel beach but I'll never sleep there again I got harassed in the middle of the night while I was sleeping there and so I'll just keep on paddling even if it's getting dark I'm not gonna pitch yeah. a tent you plan your day differently right yeah, yeah 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 I'll stay away from that but for the most part people are very gracious to meet you and talk to you about your journey and I've never really had too many problems but mm -hmm. uh, you know I I, uh, a lot of the times that I camped or stayed in a hotel or a B and B or anything like that along the Ohio, it was from people reaching out to me, letting me know, Hey, I got a safe place for you. Uh, and sometimes you do have to stealth camp. It's not uh, something that I really enjoy doing. Uh, basically what that is, is you pitch your tent when the sun's going down and get the heck out of there before the sun comes up. Yep. So, uh, I've had to do that maybe three times in all of the times that I've gone, gone on long journeys. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, Joe is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to paddling, when it comes to local paddling, Little Miami, Ohio River, now the Mississippi River. Uh, and we look forward to following his journey. Uh, we're going to post uh, in the comments and everything some links. Um, uh, you have a Facebook page. Yes. Um, well, to the Adventure Crew page for donations, Joe's Venmo for donations, um, and wish him, of course, all the, the best of luck along the journey, and look forward to catching back up with him, look forward to a presentation at RRT when he's done with his journey, um, and of course, you could reach out to him, we'll put all the contact stuff in there, uh, for some paddling questions too, because you've, you've racked up more miles than most, most anybody I think I know, so you need a mile counter. Counter yeah. on your website, like miles paddled, and just start to tally that up. Well, the Ohio was 986 miles, the Mississippi, I did 1900 miles. Uh, I've done the full hundred miles of this river probably five or six or seven times. Yeah, 
Um, and this particular trip I'm starting on Monday will be uh, another 1,600 miles. Right, so right. Long way to go. Yeah. Joe, uh, hopefully we can catch up during the trip too. Oh yeah, um, maybe. just don't make me cry this time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, catch up on some old videos if you want to see me, you know, bringing some tears to Joe's eyes, you know, just <laughs> asking the right questions. I don't know. Um, but you no, know, seriously, I uh, appreciate you. Thank you. And uh, everybody follow his journey. Uh, not, not only is it a remarkable journey to um, travel fun and, and to endure, uh, but uh, all the purposes behind it and everything as well. So pay attention to Joe's uh, journey along the way. He's going to take off here very shortly. And thanks for joining us. Joe, thank you. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, appreciate for sure. It. All right, what do you think?